to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use calculator to solve for a different for a solve for a second degree equation. So as you can see, I have x squared minus two square root of five x plus five equals zero. So how do you solve for this using calculator? Very simple. Just one hit and you get the answer right away. Okay, let's go over the solution. So on your calculator, on this type of calculator, you hit setup alpha a two and then set uh, polynomial degree so in this case I have second degree polynomial polynomial so I hit 2 okay and the equation format pops up so it has to be in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c okay let me write it out for you ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 has to be equal to 0 has to be equal to 0 okay so if you have it uh, if you have a factor form, let's say x minus 1 times x minus 2 equals 0 or something, or let's say a number, you have, to you have to distribute this out to get it in this form and on the right side has to be 0, okay? Keep in mind that if you don't convert it into this form, uh, the cac this method won't work, alright? Now, uh, let's plug in the number, so uh, coefficient of x squared is 1, coefficient of x is negative 2 times square root of 5, okay and then coefficient of x to the 0 is 5 all right now hit the equal sign so you get x equal square root of 5 hit it again to see to look for the second root okay so it says mean of blah 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 and then hit it again so in this case you see x equals square root of 5 it means that uh, it has only one square, uh, one root but think about it, when you have a secondary equation, you should expect to have two distinct real roots. I'm not talking about um, imaginary roots here. But uh, in, to include the imaginary roots, you should have two solutions. But this calculator shows you only one, so what does that mean? That means that x1 is equal to x2 is also... This means that x1 is equal to x2 equals square root of 5. So the solution is x1 equals x2 equals square root of 5. Okay, so if if it's something else, it has two uh, different square just two different roots. We'll show you two different values. Okay, let's go over the second example. So I have the second example here. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, right, let me exit out. Okay, set up alpha a. 2, 2, alright, now 1, negative 6, 14, make sure you have uh, the equation in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, right, okay, in this case you have a imaginary root, so it says x1, okay, equals this, x1 equals 2 plus square root of 5i, automatically I know that my x2 has to be 3 minus square root of 5i, okay, let's see, hit the equal sign again see 3 minus square root of 5i so because these are conjugate roots so once you know one you should know the other for the uh, imaginary roots that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything i'll see you next time